Today we will talk about the historical importance of the Isle of Faces, an island where the pact between the first men and the children of the forest was signed. The Isle of Faces is a sacred island in the middle of the lake called the God's Eye, located in the southeastern riverlands. It is one of the few known locations of weirwoods in the south of Westeros, with most others having been cut down or burned. During their ancient war with the First Men, the children of the forest may have used the hammer of the waters from this island to break the arm of Dorne. At the end of the Dawn Age, following many centuries of fighting between them, the Isle is where the First Men and the children signed the pact ending their wars against each other. In celebration, every weirwood on the island was given a face, so that the gods would witness the pact. With the signing of the pact, the Order of the Green Men was formed to tend the last remaining weirwoods in the south. The Andals failed to conquer the Green Men, so some maesters have conjectured that the children of the forest survived the Andal invasion on the isle. During the Dance of the Dragons, Adam Valerian was said to have landed on the Isle of Faces and taken counsel with the Green Men. In the Storm of Swords book, Mira Reed tells Bran Stark a story about a Cranachman who went to the Isle of Faces in the year of the False Spring. He remained there for a while before traveling to Eternian Harrenhal, in which the Knight of the Lothian Tree participated. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Also, subscribe to my channel to be notified when a new lore video is released. Thank you again and see you soon.